Hi, Libra. All right, welcome to your weekend reading. Happy birthday to you guys as well. All right, let's see. What's going on with my Libras this weekend? What's their weekend reading? What's happening with them? Or what's the energy surrounding their weekend? All right, King of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So this is masculine fire sign energy, Sagittarius, um, Leo, or Aries. Interesting. What's going on here between you two? All right, I feel like there's a masculine here delivering good news to you. This person's finally in sync with you. I feel like it seemed like they were very opposing. Okay, so I'm getting that energy of like, it's my birthday, I can cry if I want to. That energy. So... Nine of Cups, you are standing firm on something that you really want. You will not take any less than that. And if it's not going to be that, then it can be nothing at all. It's not an ultimatum. It's kind of like if you're not going to deliver on this specific thing and do it the way that I would like, you know, don't cut any corners, do it the way that I would like, then you can keep it. That's just how I feel. And there's Masculine energy here that could be coming through with that page of wands. There's good news coming in and they're finally on the same page as you or they're finally in sync with you or they're not fighting against you. I do feel like you do have this my way or the highway energy because um, you are uh, expecting someone to make something right. So someone did something wrong. This could, I don't even know why I'm getting car. I don't even know like car, but this is an example. You drop your car off to a mechanic or the dealership to fix something. They did not fix it correctly or the way that you would like. Someone tried to like cut corners or rush something along. And you're like, no, you guys need to give it back the way that I gave it to you. Or someone needs to do something the way that you've done it for them in the past. And you're not going to accept the bare minimum. You're just not. If that's the case, just keep it. Don't even give it to me. Because it's almost like a satisfaction someone's going to get here by saying that they did something for you or saying that they completed something. Or if this is like over a your car or a home or something tangible, it's like you're not about to accept someone's rush work or not doing exactly what you said. Because once you accept it, then it kind of like Fs up the legal terms. You know what I'm saying? It could F up your warranty. It could it could be that if something is not done correctly or right or something breaks down, then you're at fault because you are the one who's like kind of accepting it, signing your signature that you're happy with the job or you're happy with what you're getting. Or in relationship connection terms, you're accepting someone's apology or someone doing, I don't even feel like it's a, it's apologizing by action, okay? But you're not going to accept the bare minimum. You want them to do it as you said, or you can keep it. And that's what I'm getting from this. Now, there is a compromise, um, but not on your part, okay? There is someone working something out for you, but it looks like it takes more than one head, right? It takes like other another person's um, input or it takes another opinion or it takes someone to actually, because, okay, if this was like a mechanical thing or like you got a service done in your home or something, even for your party, if you're having a party for your birthday, it's like someone tried to give you a rush job and then they want you to sign the dotted line that you're okay with the rush job. And I feel like because someone procrastinated or didn't do something efficiently, now they need more help to get it done on time, you know, and to your standards. So it's like more than one person is going to have to get involved because this person either doesn't understand or not on the same page as you, or they need help to get something done the right way. Okay. So let's see, let me get some more cards. All right. Anything else for Libra's weekend? What's going on with their weekend, please? Yeah, some of you guys, this is a car issue, the chariot. So you're like, no, you're not about to just give me my car back like this any type of way. 
and I'm not going to sign off that I'm okay with this because I'm not okay with this. So, you know, you're kind of standing firm and on your ground, but it's, it's fair with the justice. It's not like you're trying to get more than what you're paying for or more of what you're owed. It's like, it's what's fair. So return my car in good condition as I dropped it off here for it. Don't try to give me a rush job. Don't tell me to bring it back later. I need it done now. I made the appointment. I need it done now. So you're being very firm. All right. What else for Libra? This could even be like trying to get things done before your birthday, your hair done, your nails done, um, your, your cut, you know, maybe your outfit, maybe like certain things. And it's like, we had a deadline. You agreed with me on those terms. So I need you to deliver or you can keep it and give me my money back. It's kind of like that. And someone does not want to give you your money back. Or if this is a person, it's so funny too, because if this is like a business trying to do this to you, Libra, they literally try to send their best charmer to charm you away like you know and it's like you're you're like looking at that charmer like oh so they sent you to get your ass ate up okay <laughs> that don't sound right okay y'all know what i mean when you eat someone up like when you have to you know put your foot in their ass you know <laughs> oh my god okay i immediately thought of the suki hana song all right what else for libra sorry what else for libra all right hermit Hermit in the star. Okay. You're literally, okay. You're about to pop out and do something like grand. That's going to get you a lot of attention, whether it's for your birthday or just something else. And, but you're keeping it like on the hush or you're not doing a lot of promotion for it, or people are not going to be expecting this. So this could just be you looking great on your birthday, posting vacation pics or doing something unexpected, but you're going to get a lot of attention because of this star in the hermit. OK, but right now people are wondering where you at Where's your birthday stuff where you haven't been posting or something like that. People are like, dang, where's Libra? At? I haven't seen Libra post. They ain't post this. They, they ain't talk about this. But you're literally about to pop out and gain uh, so much attention. OK, anything else? OK, magician. Hmm. Queen of Wands. Interesting. It's like people are doubting you, Libra, that you can't do something that you're actually very talented at. But I think because you haven't been on the scene or showing off your talent or your skill or how much you know, people are like underestimating you. But I'm telling you, as soon as you pop out here with the star, you're going to gain all this attraction, all this attention. You're going to be highly regarded and people are going to be eating their words about you. Okay. All right, guys, so let me go ahead and get some last words, and that will complete your weekend reading. Let's see. I will be doing the regular long, longer reads next week. This week, I just had a lot of shit okay, going on. Excuse my language. All right, what's the last words? Last words, please, for my Libras dealing with the situation. Last words. Oh, what? You know what? This is just not... The math is not mathing with these last words, okay? What is going on? Let's see. Okay. Oh, we have on pregnant surprise. So some of you guys are definitely going to be conceiving in this energy. Um, you know, I don't know. There's there's definitely some good sex going on. I'm not kidding about that because we have great P word, great D word here. So there's some good sex going on. And there's some baby making for real. All right. So there's that. Um, we have, I don't like your friends or family. Okay. So that's coming out for a specific reason. All right. What else do we have here? Insecure. Okay. Hmm. Who is insecure here? Are you insecure, Libra? Because you've been kind of like in the shadows with our hermit energy. And you don't even know how bad when you pop out, how much like attention you're about to get. Like you are all that in a bag of chips. But I don't know, have you been feeling like not your best around this time during your season? And it's making you kind of not want to like show face. But let me tell you something. The minute you decide that you want to show face again, you are about to stop the world, you know? Can't sleep, okay? Maybe you're having trouble sleeping right now. You could have anxiety or like be very excited about something happening. Um, or this is someone that can't sleep. Maybe they're up late thinking of you. Excuse me, guys. Sorry about that. 
We have pizza. So I don't know if you've been scarfing down lots of pizza this weekend. You don't feel like cooking. This is the next best thing to get. Okay. I think Marco's Pizza, if you live near a Marco's Pizza, they're having like a large for like $10. I got one yesterday. You can see the pizza box right there. And um, yeah, it was a great deal. But that's only if you like a lot of pepperoni. But the person on the phone with me customized it the way I wanted it to be customized. And I only spent like $10. So that's just a little thing there. You can get that coupon code for the large pizza online. All right, whatever. I love how you laugh, okay? So you're gonna be giggling quite a bit or maybe you're making someone laugh because you have a great humor. We have hoe energy. So for my feminines, you are literally about to be, as they say, slutted out <laughs> by your person, okay, sexually, or um, you're just out here. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. You're single. You're thriving. Do you? Okay. Um, we have no one compares to you. So yeah, there is a lover here who is definitely thinking about you more and more. Of course, it's your season. So they're like thinking about you. And we have true love. You're my soulmate. So some of you guys could be with a soulmate, your true love. You feel like you found true love. You're having a lot of fun with them. You're having great sex with them. So good for you. All right, I'm gonna leave it there and I will see you guys in the next one. Go watch your other placements because I'm gonna try to do as many signs as I can before I go live tonight. I am gonna do donation questions tonight. So if you do want to get a question answered from me, then check that out later on. All right, love you guys, Libra. Happy birthday again and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, bye-bye.